first installment of Coach Paul's in-home adaptive gym class. I'm so excited to be coming into each and every one of your homes to offer this fully inclusive adaptive physical education class. Before we get started, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and Oak Hill Adaptive Sports. My name is Coach Paul and I am the Adaptive Sports Program Coordinator at Oak Hill Adaptive Sports and Fitness in Hartford and we're bringing you this program as a collaboration with Miracle League of Connecticut. To tell you a little bit about myself, not only am I a licensed adaptive physical education teacher, uh, a coach, and a certified personal trainer, but I was born with a disability called cerebral palsy. And for those of you that don't know what that is, basically it's a neuromuscular disease that affects my body in a way that my left leg is a little bit shorter than my right leg and my muscles work a little bit differently with my brain. So therefore, I use my chair to help teach and coach, but I can get up and walk around and perform all the different exercises and do what I need to do. So sometimes I'll be in my chair, sometimes I'll be standing up. I just wanted to put that out front so that everybody was aware and we can get started for the day. So, uh, before we get going, and if you need to pause to go get some of the stuff, that's great. I'll be here when you get back, but before we get going, I just wanted to go one more time over the different things we'll be using for equipment today. So as you can see, we'll have a simple bath towel, two gallons of milk or water or whatever you've got available to you, two soup cans, a few paper plates, and a straight back chair unless you have one of your own. So with that, let's go ahead and get our muscles warmed up. If you're on wheels, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start just rolling forward and back Use as much space as you have available to you. It can be short, quick pushes and short, short quick pulls. If you're on your feet, we're gonna run in place for about 30 seconds. So as fast as you can, move those feet. Ready, set, go. Forward and back as quick as you can. Running in place and pumping those arms as quick as you can. For my friends in power chairs, if it's just an upper body movement, you can even add in a speed bag. Quick hands, quick hands, quick hands, quick feet. Quick as you can, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that heart rate up, keep those hands in front. We're gonna punch, quick as you can. Hands out, straight through the shoulders and rotate. Good, make sure you're rotating that hip and rotating your shoulders as quick as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, and rest. Now we're gonna run in place one more time, quick as you can, remember, Forward and back if you're on wheels, running in place if you're on your feet. On your marks, get set, go. Running in place, quick hands, quick feet. Quick hands, quick feet. Speed bag, speed bag, speed bag if you need to. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good job. Now that we got our heart rate up and we're moving a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and stretch. So right where you are, two hands straight up. Reach those arms way over your head, interlock your fingers, press your palms to the sky. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Now we're gonna do what's called the runner stretch. You're gonna stand up, one leg forward, one leg back. Lean over that front knee, hands on that front knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna go ahead and switch the other leg. If you're on wheels, you're just gonna reach down, and if you can't extend that leg out and put a little bit of pressure on your knee, you're doing great. Other leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now, standing up and sitting up straight, take that right arm, bring it all the way across your chest, Wrap your left arm around your right elbow and count it out with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Same thing, other arm. All the way out, bring it across your chest. Wrap the other arm around your elbow and count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now you're gonna take your right hand and bring it to your right shoulder. You're gonna take your left hand and put it on your right elbow and lift that elbow up. If that's too hard for you, you can just hold that arm up straight 
and put a little bit of pressure on that elbow. Right arm, tricep stretch. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Good job. Bringing it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And we got one more stretch. Arm circles going forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And backwards. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to throw in one more stretch just for good measure. If you're on your feet, you're going to put both feet as close together as you can. And we're going to stand up straight and reach down and touch your toes. Bend over, reach down and touch those toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Now, for all my friends on their feet, you're going to go ahead and get your straight back chair. I'm going to grab mine over here. Move that guy out of the way real quick. Slide him in. And we're going to go ahead and you might as well get your, uh, all your accoutrements sitting next to you. Grab these real quick. You can put them down on either side of the chair. You want to make sure that the space in front of your chair is open so we can move our feet. And we're going to start right here with quick feet, right in place, moving in place. It's going to be a sit fit exercise day. So we're going to get full body exercise from a seated position. We're going to move our feet, move our arms, and do it all sitting down. For my friends that don't have a lot of lower leg function, anytime I'm doing a foot movement, you can add in some different exercises. You can add in the speed bag we talked about. You can add in punches overhead, punches in front, and all those different types of things. I'll give different ideas as we go along. So with that, let's start with fast feet and fast hands. Just like when we're running in place, now you're running in place sitting down. Ready, set, go. Run in place. Quick feet, quick hands. Quick feet, quick hands. Speed bag if you want to. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, we're going to reach down and grab our milk jugs. Wrap your hands around and turn your palms to the outside. Arms straight down by your side. And we're going to curl them up together. Try to keep it controlled so that the water doesn't swish or the milk doesn't swish. Control. Slow and controlled. Very good. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Now we're going to make the water switch and punch out in front. Straight arms, fully extend all the way across your body. Quick, quick, quick. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now you're going to take your jugs and push straight up over the top of your shoulders. Two arms up, all the way up, as high as you can reach, and back down. All the way up. It's all about control. Control those arms, control those shoulders. Make sure you're breathing out as the weight goes up and taking a deep breath in as it comes down. Good job. Full extension and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Straight out, rotate through that shoulder, full extension through the arm, punch and punch. One more each side. Now we're going straight up over the head, shoulder press. Remember, control the jug, up and down. Now both hands together, straight up. Good job. Nice and easy and under control. Five more, four more, three more, two more, one more, and rest. Go ahead and set those down and find your two soup cans or carrot cans or whatever you got cans. That's the best part. Everything we'll be using here is stuff you can find around the home. 
Go ahead and start by grabbing the cans, palms down. We're gonna extend those arms down by our shoulders and reach out one hand and then the other. Now both hands together. Grip those cans tightly so they don't fly away. Full arm extension. Good. Now we're gonna go T's, Y's, and I's. So out to a T, back down, out to a Y, back down, up to an I. Good. T, Y, I. Arm straight out at the shoulders, best you can. T, Y, I. Give me three more. T, Y, I. T, Y, and I. Last one, out to the side. Back down, out wide to a Y. Back down, and straight arms up over your head for an I, and back down. Now, bring those soup cans. It should be really quick hands, because it's nice and light. Fast hands, fast hands, punching across for five, four, three, two, and one, good job. Now, we're gonna go ahead and hold on to those cans and give me a speed bag, wrist over wrist in front, fast as you can. Quick hands for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and set those down, good job. If you need to pause and get a drink of water, this would be a great time for it. But what we're gonna need next is we gotta grab that towel. So we're gonna go ahead and get our towel. And if you're one of my friends on wheels, you don't really need a towel. You can just find a spot on the ground. We're gonna do quick feet, up and over and back. Up and over and back. Same thing if you're on wheels, you're doing two pushes forward, two pushes back. My friends on your feet, quick feet. Try to go as fast as you can. I'm going as fast as I can. My balance isn't great, and I'm stepping on my towel, but it's the best I got. There we go in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You guys keep your towel down. I'm gonna jump in my chair so I can show it for everybody. We're gonna do one more set of that going forward and back. Ready? Quick feet, quick hands. Here we go. Fast as you can. Two pushes forward, two pushes fast. Make sure that you're not running into stuff. You don't wanna take out mom's fine china while you're working out. Keep going. Don't quit. Fast as you can. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job, take a deep breath. Now we're gonna do the same thing side to side. So for my friends on wheels, you're gonna grab one hand up and one hand down, and you're gonna do tight quarter turns, side to side, side to side, side to side. All right, for my friends that are on their feet, for my friends that are on their feet, you're gonna be running side to side over your towel. So you're gonna be stepping side to side. I'll show it in the second set. But side to side, ready and go. Fast you can, quarter turns, quarter turns, quarter turns, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Take a deep breath and rest. I'm gonna get my towel so that I can demonstrate the other side. If you guys wanna keep moving while I'm setting up, go ahead and run over, but we're gonna go side to side over the towel. Use the length of the towel as a frame of reference, and go. Quick feet, best as you can. Step in side to side. Move those feet, pump those arms if you can. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. 
Okay. So, again, if you need a drink of water, this would be a good time for it. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. You need to clear out as much space as you can so we can use our paper plates. We're going to put two down on the floor. All right, now we're going to take out our paper plates. You only need two of them for my friends on your feet. You're going to go ahead and set them down on the floor just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and step on them just like this. So the middle of your toes are right on the middle of the plate. For my friends on wheels, you're going to go over and you're going to find a wall if you can. And you put your hands right on the plate. And it looks just like the Karate Kid. We're going to do arm circles around and around. If you like and it feels better, you can even take the plates off the wall and just do a wax on, wax off movement. Wax on, wax off. All right? So, back for my friends standing on the plates. Right here. And we're going to do the best we can. Circles. Out and in. Out and in. It's really hard for Coach Paul to keep his left foot on the plate because my foot doesn't bend. But I'm going to do my best. Around and around. Three more each leg or each arm. Two and one. All right. I kind of cheated on a couple of those, but you're doing better than me. So the next one we're going to do for my friends on your feet, you're going to drop to the ground and put your toes right on the plates. And we're going to do running mans. For everybody in their chairs that are on the wall, you're just going to reach your arms up as high as you can and bring them back down as fast as you can. Ready, set, run, knees up. Knees up, hands going quick. How fast can you move? How fast? You've got better than that. Dig, dig, dig. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest. Everybody stand up straight. Big deep breath. One more, big deep breath in and out. All right, we got one more set. Like I said, if you want to put the plates on the walls, you can use your hands as well. I'm just gonna let my plates down and do hand sweeps. Quick as I can, going straight up and down. Ready, set, go, up and down as high as you can reach. I gotta reach up. My friend's on my feet. You're still doing mountain climbers. Running mans, keep them going. Fast as you can, reach up, reach up. Move those feet. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna go back to our chair. Clear your space, grab a drink of water if you need it. Again, you can pause the video at any time because the best part is about being recorded, I'm here whenever you are ready to exercise. All right, we're gonna grab one of our milk jugs and we're gonna hold it out straight in front of us with two hands. If you can only use one hand, just keep it supported. And now we're gonna go side to side, rotating all the way through our shoulders and rotating at the trunk the best you can. Reach all the way across. Keep those arms straight and rotate all the way through the hips. Good, don't bend the elbow. Five, four, really reach. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Roll those shoulders back, open up your chest. Now hold that jug out in front of you again and you go all the way down to your toes. And then all the way up over your head as high as you can reach. Hold those tummy muscles and reach up high. Good job, give me three more. Two more, keep those arms straight. One more and rest. All right, we got two more. We're gonna turn the jug sideways and we're gonna do wood choppers all the way across. All the way up over left shoulder, down to your right hip. Best you can. 
with everything we do, we're just doing the best we can. If you can't quite rotate as far as I do, that's fine. But do the best, push yourself. You're the best judge of how hard you're working. Keep going. Three more. Two more. One more. All right. Now, everything we do to one side, we've got to do for the other. So now we're gonna hold it out. We're gonna go over the right shoulder, down to the left hip. Right shoulder, down to the left hip. Most important thing is to keep those arms straight and without locking those elbows, don't let your arms bend. Good job, all the way through. And extend, chop that wood. By the time we're done, you'll have so much wood, you'll have to go get yourself a fireplace for it. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. All right. Now, and good job. Those were great wood choppers. Now, unfortunately, it's almost time for us to wrap up. So it's time to cool down and stretch. We're going to do one more cool down speed bag, but this time we're just rotating our hands. We're not worried about speed. We're looking at range of motion. Rotate and go. Same thing with our punches out in front. It's not about speed. I want you to rotate all the way through. Good. Now we're going to throw in a new one and punch to the ground in three, two, one. Now punch down and across, down and across, down and across. Really use that lower back to get as low as you can. Punch down and across. Good job. All right, now we're going to stretch. We got three stretches, two hands straight up. Five, four, three, two, and one. And right where you're sitting, reach down and touch your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring those feet back under you. Sit up nice and tall, straight back, shoulders back. Now bring those arms out to the side as far as you can reach. Arm circles, going backwards to start. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold them out there and switch directions. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, give yourselves a round of applause. Hey, I just wanna take a minute and say thank you to everyone that's allowing me to come into your homes today and provide this first opportunity for an in-home adaptive gym class. I would like to apologize for some of the quirks and some of the little missteps as we're trying to shoot this all in one take. And as we go, we're gonna get better and you're gonna get better. That's the best part about all of this. Whatever level you start out at, that's one thing, but it's not where you start, it's where you finish. Just like we're gonna get better at recording these classes and I'm gonna get better at not losing my train of thought while I'm sweating, you're gonna get better at all the exercises and all the activities. And the best part is, each time you come and see me from the comfort of your own home, it's a total different class. We'll do some of the same stuff, but we're always gonna mix it up. But this way, no matter what, you're gonna be able to stay active, stay moving, and you have something to do other than to sit and watch TV. I'm so excited that you're here with me and I look forward to our next class. Thanks for letting me come into your home and we'll see you next time.